Hey guys and welcome back to HSC Math Tutoring with Nathan and today I'm going to go over how to find the equation of an inverse function and probably the most common trick they do in these questions and how you like solve it quickly. So let's consider this um, parabola y equals x squared minus 2x plus 7 with the domain x greater than or equal to 1. Now it's very important to, um, to define the domain here so that the inverse exists that I can discuss in a future video if you don't understand the basics of inverses. I just want to go over step by step today how to uh, get the equation of inverse and probably the most common trick they're doing this. So step one, the definition of an inverse is basically to swap x and y. So in this equation we just swap x and y around. So x equals y squared minus 2y plus 7. And step two is basically make y the subject. And this is where the problem lies. How do you make y the subject in this equation? And this is a very popular trick. So the trick here is if you look at y, in order to make y the subject, you'll notice this is a quadratic equation in y. So the trick here is you get a quadratic in y, so put in ay squared plus by plus c equals zero form, then use the quadratic formula. And we'll go up here to, to see that. So if we look at this equation, this is ay squared because a is one, this is my by because it's negative 2y, which means x and 7 have to belong to c because if we've got an x in here, there's no y next to it. So that is co considered a constant term. So this here is a constant because it has no y next to it because this is a quadratic equation in y. So if I rearrange it, I'm going to put it in ay squared plus by plus c. So that means I've got to subtract x equals zero. So you need to bring everything to one side. And here's the trick, right? So now this is in this form here at the bottom, which means I'm gonna put brackets around here. So the trick is also put brackets around the whole C. That is my C term. My A is one, my B negative two, and my C term is seven minus X. And as I said here, now we use the quadratic formula. There's no way you'll be able to factorize this because of this unknown X. So we must, use the quadratic formula. So minus b becomes 2 plus or minus square root 2 squared which is 4 minus 4 times a times c. a is just 1 so it's just going to be times c over 2a. Now what I'm going to do here to simplify this further is factorize this 4 outside the square root so that becomes 2 outside the square root and that becomes 1 minus brackets 7 minus x. So for a new step here, I've just factorized the 4 outside the square root, which becomes 2 when you take it outside the square root as square root 4 equals 2. And now by doing that, all these 2's cross out, and this, there's only 1's here. So it becomes 1 plus or minus, I don't need to write 1 here. And if I expand this bracket, it's 1 minus 7, and there's a double negative here, so it becomes x minus 6. So now we have the equation, or do we? There's one final trick. I got plus or minus in the answer. That's not by mistake. It's because the quadratic formula has a plus or minus. So the last thing we've got to do, last trick is how do I work out is it plus or minus? So I'm just going to scroll down a bit. Okay. So, so let's put this point. For the plus or minus, there's no need to write that. Find a point on the original curve. Okay, so let's find a point on the original curve. So if, so remember, it's x greater than or equal to one, so I'm gonna not use one. There's a reason. So if y equals two, I mean, sorry, if x equals two, y equals, or what was the equation? x squared minus two x plus seven. So it's 
2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 7 is 7. Okay. So we find a point that lies on the original curve. So the point... So 2, 7 lies on original, the original. So the trick here is therefore 7, 2 lies on the inverse, right? Because remember the inverse means swap x and y, so you swap them around. So now I have a point that lies on this equation here. So what you can do is just sub 7, 2 in. So then that becomes 2 equals 1 plus or minus square root 7 minus 6. Let's just come up here, save some space. So 2 equals 1 plus or minus square root 1. 2 equals 1 plus or minus 1. So now you just pick the plus or minus that makes it true. And therefore it has to be the plus. Right, because 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So therefore the inverse equation is 1 plus square root x minus 6. So just a note when you're doing this point, don't test the vertex. Okay, so I'll just make sure you don't test vertex. Because what will happen is the vertex I'm assuming would be 1, 6. And if you sub 6 in here, you get 0. So in this case here, you'd have 1 plus or minus 0. And you have 1 on the other side, so you wouldn't be able to solve it. So don't test the vertex, otherwise you won't be able to work out if it's a plus or minus. So that's um, the process to find the equation of an inverse function. And the most popular trick I've seen in these examples so where you have to have a quadratic in y and you just use the quadratic formula like this, as so. And then you test the point from the original. Remember the inverse means swap x and y. So uh, if there's anything you're unsure of, make sure to comment below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe for future videos. And also, Comment below what you'd like to see in the future. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.